will come aboard Chiang Railway Class Base. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am currently in Beijing. I was helping this beautiful bitch moving in for her new job here in Beijing. Now that I'm done with all of this, I still have about a week or so to explore Beijing. I'm obviously going to start with the most famous ones like Great Wall of China or Forbidden City and eventually venturing into some of the less popular ones. I guess I'll just show you around then. Today is day of Google. Let's talk about history. The Forbidden City was built under the orders of Yongle Emperor of the Ming Dynasty. It served as a fortress to protect the emperor and his families. 24 different Chinese emperors lived in the palace over the course of nearly 500 years. Needless to say, it's enormous. It covers an area of 178 acres that include 90 palaces with courtyards. Next, on to the travel tips. There are a lot of resources online detailing the pros and cons of each visit route within the Forbidden City. So the route that I pick is supposedly has less tourists than the regular most popular route to see all the locations. I do find a place that is basically no one's here. Oh, which is pretty cool. Probably just gonna take some photos and dash. So this dumbass had trouble following that particular route because of my stupidity and the lack of any sense of directions. So I had to get back to the main route, which was packed with people. <laughs> So study the routes you like and choose wisely because it's going to be tons of walking. I would say roughly around 5 to 7 hours maybe. It's for sure your cardio of the day. I think I spent 30 minutes at the entrance trying to figure out the best way. I am absolutely bombarded by how big this place is. There are so many people. Speaking of entrance, uh, let's talk about tickets. You have to book your tickets at least one day before. If it's for the weekend entrance, the ticks might be gone even three days before. So plan accordingly. There's no way to buy the ticket on the day of your visit. Nothing online and nothing outside. I've been walking for a few hours now. I've only done half of the whole park. So there are still a lot of attractions, buildings to see. As long as I keep off the central axis, there weren't a swamp of people just coming at you. Time to keep going. Um, I ran out of footage to pair with this voiceover. So here's my face instead. Obviously, the best time to visit the Forbidden City is when there are less people. The low season is from November to March because of the cold, but it could be quite a scene when the snow covers everything. For example, Oh, uh, one more thing. You have to go through the Tiananmen Square to get to the entrance of the Forbidden City. So you might as well spend some time checking out the nearby attractions. Here are a few options. Alright, that's all I want to say. Peace. Oh, um, before I go, please 
subscribe to my channel. I know I'm not good at keeping up with the uploading schedule, but I'm trying, I guess. <laughs> no, I am trying. Trust me. Please trust me. Okay, go subscribe now and like this video. I am having second thoughts about going to Great Wall of China tomorrow. I don't want to be around people. This is too much.